Good evening, everyone. Is your first time here? Yeah. Oh, who knows? It could be your last. <laughs> Welcome, Curry Holden. I've been in love like you. Be brave, young lovers, and follow your star. Be brave and faithful and true. Cling very close to each other tonight. I've been in love like you. I know how it feels to have wings on your heels and to fly down the street in a trance. You fly down the street on the chance that you meet and you meet you chance to meet not really by chance don't cry young lovers whatever you do don't cry because i'm alone all of my memories are happy tonight i've had a love of my own I've had a love of my own like yours I've had a love of my own I know how it feels to have wings on your heels And to fly down the streets in a trance You fly on down the streets on the chance that you meet And you meet not really by chance Don't cry, young lovers, whatever you do Don't cry because I'm alone All of my memories are happy tonight I've had a love of my own I've had a love of my own like yours I've had a love of my own Terry Holden opened our show this evening, and hello, young lovers. You've heard my impression of Terry Holden, haven't you, before? Hello, young lovers. Where? That's Terry Holden. You know something? Here's Miffy Marsh. That's Bert Newton. Thank you very much, Bert. You know, every young mother likes to give her baby the foods that are really good for him. That's why 19 out of 20 Victorian mothers naturally choose Heinz baby food. Now, we know by experience that Heinz baby food is full of nourishment, full of the goodness just for baby. Now, for example, Mrs. Ian Meckiff, we went along to her home the other day, and this is what she had to say. The most important thing to me is the nutritional value of Heinz. My children, Wayne, who is four and a half, John, who is 16 months, and Janine, who is three, have all been brought up on Heinz. Because Heinz is so good is why I feel that they have done so remarkably well. So, you see, because Heinz is full of protein, vitamins, uh, carbohydrates, I beg your pardon, and all the things that are really good for baby, that's why we like Heinz. Also, because Heinz, for 11 years, have been carefully preparing baby foods for Australian mothers, then they know what is good for baby. So give your baby naturally better Heinz baby food. Get a good smug taste, get a good smug taste, get a good smug taste without Heinz. Get a good smug taste. Get two kinds of cigarette in one Alpine. High filtration and a wisp of menthol. Enjoy a good smoke taste with Alpine. Keeps your mouth fresh all day. Fine to start the day with, fine to stay with. Alpine, only three shillings for twenty. Yes, only three shillings for twenty for my favourite cigarette, and I certainly hope that you'll make it your favourite cigarette too, because Alpine, as the man said, pardon me, has high filtration and just that wisp of menthol that everyone enjoys so much. 
Um, I always, something which I must mention, because Graham advertises Marlborough so regularly on INT, and this is no worries because it's the same company, but a lot of people whom I meet in various hotel, various places around Melbourne, uh, they think that I smoke. But I, I smoke Alpine all the time, and you should try them too, particularly for a nice change. Just three shillings for 20. Alpine is my kind of cigarette. You've played that same record every day for the past 30 years. 30 beers? You gave it a bit of a bash, didn't you, Rube? No, no, no. For 30 years you've played the same record every day. Well, I've got to learn the words, don't I? Oh, dear. Norman, look. I know you like music, dear, but... Oh, that scratchy old record. It's, a, it, it's too much for my flesh and blood, really it is. And I've got a little surprise for you. Well, it's a, it's a big surprise. Surprise? Yes, dear. Oh, I really. <laughs> don't tell me I'm going to be a daddy. <laughs> oh. Norman, don't be so silly. No, I, I've bought you a television set. You'd like a new set, wouldn't you? Yes, I could do it with an upper set. The lowers are all right. I could give a bit of an onion to munch there with uh, the lowers, but the uppers are gone. You're a dear little fellow. I'm very fond of you, but you're very trying at times. Give us your hand. Where are we going? Come with me, dear. Oh. I've got something to show you. Yeah? Yes, over here. What? Now, look. Put your head through the window and look up on the roof. That's it. What do what you do see? You know? That's a nice place to have a rotary clothesline on the roof. Oh, Norman, it's not a clothesline. It's a TV antenna. I got the men to put it in this afternoon while you were having your nap. Oh, oh, that'll be the set now, dear. I, I won't be long. I'll just let them in. TV. I'm coming. I'm coming. But I'd rather have my old music box here. The old song, I, I like the old song, you know, Rube. Come on, this oh, way. Bad. Thank you very much. Just here in the lounge somewhere. Right, Don't lady. Mind. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Right. oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Mm. This, uh, this set isn't for him, is it, lady? Oh, yes, it is. You left it a bit late, love, haven't you? You impertinent young whippersnapper. It's not a bad place to put it on. It's nice there, dear. It's not bad. Yes. It's not bad for the grain in it, would you? It's nicely improve? made, dear. Very nice. The PowerPoint, yes. The PowerPoint. The PowerPoint. Tell me, is your PowerPoint working? Don't be impudent, young fella. <laughs> All right. I pay me a count every month. All right. Dimples. Okay. Joe. Don't plug it in. Joe, it's over here. Found it. Right, yes. right, Brian. Yes. yes, it's there. Just in the corner. That's right. That's a nice for it. It's a very good set. Oh, yes, lady. Oh, Norman. Norman, dear. Norman, we won't need that music now we've got the TV set, dear. Don't want this thing at all, any. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Oh, dear. You know what you've done, Rube? 
broken me beautiful song. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, dear, but I look, never thought you'd do that we've to got me. the nice television set, darling. I'll turn it on, look. Yes, but you'll never do another beautiful song like that, Rube. Oh, yes, you will, Norman. On the TV, they've got hundreds of lovely songs. Just you watch and listen. Now, look at it, dear. Oh, no. Turn it up, Rube. Oh. Thank you, Barcy and, and Rosie. With Christmas coming on, we have to think very seriously, don't we, of the sort of Christmas gift we'd like to give someone special in our life. Well, if you've had this problem, let me explain to you, as I think prior to Father's Day this year, there is a marvellous lighter on the market, and this is the, the Popple lighter. It's the lowest priced quality gas lighter on the market. It's fully guaranteed. It's a lifetime lighter with every part replaceable. And let's have a, a closer look. The, the popple king-size flint is easily inserted. Let me show you with this one here. What's this? So easy. Unscrew, like so. And there you see it. And this is the butane gas cylinder on the popple. Also very easily inserted. And it's got a, a fresh valve for flame adjustment too. Popple lighters are available in pocket or table size. You see them both here. This is the, the table size and this is the pocket size. So it doesn't matter whether you want to give that special man or lady in your life something that she or he can have on the desk or something for the pocket. Popple is the one. Pocket size costs only 45 shillings and table size only 79 and sixpence and gas refills only five and 11. And this is most important. Damage popple, break popple, smash popple. If any part remains unbroken, the popple lighter can be repaired and fully restored. And this is true. And popple lighters are available at all good department stores, jewellers, tobacconist shops, anywhere where you buy good gifts. And by the way, Mr. Retailer, if you're watching tonight, there you see a lovely display pack which you can have in your store. It's available in so many colours and five different coloured popple lighters are in this particular display and it's your lighter for a lifetime. So if it's a lighter that you want to give that particular person, make sure for my sake and yours and his or hers, it's a popple. I wonder who lives here. They have excellent taste. What an unusual gift. A brandy balloon filled with red tulip fine chocolates. And on the tree, red tulip continental chocolates. Red tulip miniatures, ah, Vienna creams. Really, the only chocolates to give are red tulip. That's very true, too. I think you know that red tulip chocolates are the most enjoyable chocolates that you can buy. Uh, they've got a, a good name in the trade. They're high-quality chocolates, and yet they're reasonably priced, too. I showed you last week exactly what you can do with this particular presentation pack, uh, which is available right now in your store. I'll play it very, very briefly once again. That's Beautiful Dreamer you're listening to now. So whether you go for a box or one of those, those very, very nice presentations, you, uh, you make sure you ask for Red Tulip.